These are the craziest police chases ever, and it doesn't get any more GTA than this. His choice of ride has all the fun of a high-speed car chase without the high speed. But when you're wanted by the police, you do what you gotta do. Bye, have a great time. That includes stealing a golf cart and leading police on an infuriatingly slow chase through the streets of Los Angeles. While the suspect looked like he was having a great time, his four-legged passenger, not so much. It didn't take long for the police to box him into a gas station parking lot, bringing the sub-speed limit felony to a slow-mo ending. Don't drink. Don't do drugs. Be a person. When police leave their cars unattended to deal with speeding drivers, opportunistic thieves make their move. Looks like uh, somebody just stole my vehicle. This joyrider jumped behind the wheel of a cop car and sped off without the officer even reacting. With the police radio still on, it's like the thief had a narrator to his own car chase. Is that him laughing? <laughs> Anyway, when the adrenaline finally wore off and he realized he was driving a freaking cop car, he lost his nerve and bailed on foot, eventually trying out a new hiding spot. If you're getting chased through the streets of LA by a dozen cop cars, people would usually assume you're a criminal. But these guys just wanted to give back to their community. Or at least, that's the story they're sticking to. Throwing more money out, throwing more money out of the car. Whoa, look at that. After robbing a downtown bank and speeding off in a black SUV, these brazen philanthropists drove through the city's suburbs throwing handfuls of cash out the window. While it's not entirely clear if they were trying to spread the wealth with their neighborhood or trying to create a distraction big enough to make their getaway, I'm pretty sure they made some locals very happy. This high-speed chase is about to end in the weirdest way possible. And I'm not talking about the takedown. That was actually a pretty sweet pit maneuver if I say so myself. It's what happens next which has everyone scratching their heads. After surrendering to the police and exiting the car with his hands up, this guy decides the next best option is to start break dancing. Oh, okay. Suspect doing some break dancing here in the middle of the roadway, and he is definitely. Maybe he thinks a solid windmill will make the officers rethink the charges? Or maybe Bro thinks it's a new round and he's back in the Fortnite lobby. Either way, they'll have to go easy on him. They did tell him to get down, after all. What did they expect? What happens when you end up chasing a real life comic book villain? A scenario which is just as crazy as their on screen counterpart. When police began pursuing a black sedan through the streets of Santa Monica, little did they know that the passenger was dressed as the Joker. The infamous DC villain taunted the police from the vehicle's sunroof before making a run towards the beach. Maybe he was hoping to go for a swim or disappear into the crowd, but not before he stopped and helped bury and high five a stranger. Next thing he knew, he was surrounded by cops and a thousand onlookers. Come on, guys. Why so serious? This officer had to check the manual when he spotted a horse and cart traveling with the driver passed out drunk behind the reins. Hey, wake up. I know there's laws against drunk driving, but this is technically an Amish Uber. Obviously, an unconscious driver is an accident waiting to happen, so the police decided to block the road ahead. And after just a quick collision, the poor kid had reckless driving added to his charge of DUI. One question though, can you still call AAA if your horse breaks down? When you're already facing time for reckless driving and eluding the police, why not make the most of the chaos and live stream it? Wilfredo Garcia decided to capitalize on his 15 minutes of fame by going live on his ATV with the police hot in pursuit. Was it worth it? Well, his eagerness for likes caught the attention of detectives who, after a quick scroll through Instagram, were able to add a few more felonies to his list. Everyone gets a guilty conscience from time to time, but this guy is the absolute king of telling on himself. When this red car got pulled over for speeding, the guy in the passenger seat suddenly felt all eyes on him. Thank you for telling me who you are this time. Last time you didn't. Oh, that was you? That was me. Why is he running? He doesn't even have a warrant. Even though he wasn't the one being interrogated, he suddenly got the urge to bail and run for his life. Our paranoid shirtless friend Roberts obviously had a reason to run. You know what I was gonna do? I was gonna have you drive her car. Cause you got a valid license, bro. No, I don't. Yes, you do. And when cops finally caught up to him, he got a possession charge for his troubles. Bet that's math, ain't it? 
sure. How stupid. Dude, I was gonna let you drive the car. <sighs> How fast is too fast for a scooter? These police officers had to do a double take at their speedometer when they clocked an e-scooter at more than 62 miles an hour down a busy Australian freeway. When challenged, the scooter rider decided to run for it, diverting into a bike lane to escape. His excuse for the erratic driving? He was late to his job. I guess you gotta admire his work ethic. Work. From the dash cam footage, this just looks like your average white sedan cruising through the suburbs. This car wasn't speeding, it didn't cross over into oncoming lanes, so what's the problem? Well, after a long joyride through the neighborhood, the vehicle finally stopped, and officers were absolutely dumbfounded by who was behind the wheel. And before driving back home, this is what it looked like when he got into the driveway. <laughs> They'll never find me under the bed. How do you stop a vehicle that can literally drive over a cop car? Answer, you wait till it runs out of gas. When Joshua Yabbit was looking for a ride home, he chose an M577 armored personnel carrier and drove it straight out of the gates of Fort Pickett. What the f is going on? Police could really only follow from a safe distance as the literal tank ripped through the streets of Virginia on a high-speed joyride. Eventually, the rampage came to an end with Joshua arrested for driving a tank under the influence. What's the best way to pick up a country girl? A tractor. At least that's what this guy thought when leading the police on a low-speed chase through the sticks. As it turns out, tractors seem to be a quite popular getaway vehicle, although you aren't losing the cops anytime soon. After being pulled over and told to stand with his hands by his sides, the officer returned to his car to write him a ticket. Leaving the suspect without handcuffs was the officer's first mistake. His second was not paying attention. In a blink of an eye, he was off. And so was the chasing officer, only for the suspect to double back for a heroic escape. And while he didn't make it very far, I'm sure this cop will be more careful next time. They say that senior citizens are a liability on the road, and this very sweet grandma is no exception. But instead of peering over the steering wheel of a 1960s Volvo, this grandma was behind the wheel of a mobility scooter. It was clear to everyone that she might be a little lost, but despite the offer of help from a police officer, she was determined to find her way home herself. Now only if she could remember the address. This police chase isn't your average felony pursuit. The fugitive in question stole a police car and was being pursued down a freeway by police SWAT teams and a canine unit. They were eventually able to pull a pit maneuver on the fleeing vehicle. But here's where it gets interesting. What should have been a fairly standard takedown and arrest took a hilarious turn as the officers closed in. Despite the attention of more than a dozen officers and a police dog, the criminal was able to escape by stealing another police car. Someone Someone should really remember to take the keys out of the ignition. It turns out that you don't have to be a criminal to have beef with the police. This officer turned up to investigate a report of a cow on the sports field, and instantly the stakes were raised. But tuning his inner cowboy, the police officer eventually was able to corral the belligerent bovine into a fenced enclosure. If only that solution worked. You know that saying, charging like a bull at a gate? It works for cows too. Drink driving laws state that you can't be in control of a vehicle while under the influence. Apparently, that also applies to motorized suitcases as well. Chelsea, Give look at me. So Chelsea, look, Hello. look at me. Chelsea, look at me. When this woman tried to board a plane in Orlando, she was refused on the basis of her intoxication. The resulting altercation led to a short pursuit through the terminal and Chelsea's eventual arrest. Chelsea, please. Do you see the bit of me? She's gone. She's gone. She's gone. She's Chelsea, you are under arrest. Put your hands behind back now. Chelsea, you are under arrest. Put your hands behind back now. Do not resist. Do not resist. The result of her charge? A $300 fine. And she's not allowed to operate a suitcase for six months. We're going to go in the car nice and easy, all right? When is a police car chase not a police car chase? When the fugitive does donuts instead of trying to get away. This guy doesn't seem to care that he doesn't have a four-wheel drive. He's found his home in the sand, leaving the police in the dust. Eventually, his cockiness gets the better of him, and this car chase comes to a crashing conclusion.
Not all police chases are adrenaline-filled, white-knuckle rampages. Sometimes you get a pursuit that even a snail would have a fighting chance in. For more than two hours, police followed the suspect from their patrol cars, even though they probably could have gotten out and walked faster. Why this chase never got above 30 miles an hour, we'll never know. But at least he doesn't have a speeding charge added to his rap sheet. What do you do when you run out of gas and need to get somewhere in a hurry? How about load up your saddle and head down the freeway on horseback? That's exactly what Adams Hollingsworth did on Chicago's I-94. Flanked by more than a dozen cops, the colorful cowboy and his ride broke into gallop for several miles before finally coming to his senses. When asked why he didn't pull over straight away, he had only one answer. The key to any good escape plan is knowing where all exits are. This guy had the right idea, but his execution could use some work. While his plans might have gone out the window, he certainly didn't. They say the best place to hide is right in plain sight. And what a better way to test this theory than right in the middle of a police pursuit, hiding in between a parked car and a fence. This fugitive couldn't believe his luck when the cops walked straight past him, completely oblivious to the fact he was just a few feet away. Reporters and news helicopters circling above desperately tried to make contact with the dumbfounded police on the ground. Even after the tip-off, it was a miracle they actually found him. Wow. They haven't seen him yet. This is unbelievable. There we go. <sighs> Oh my gosh. This police chase started out like any other, swerving in and out of lanes, narrowly missing other cars. This was a criminal with zero intention of stopping. But even as police retreated to a safe following distance, life was about to throw this suspect a curveball. Instead of giving up to the cops who were closing in, this man saw his chance and made the ultimate escape. Something tells me he doesn't have a ticket, though. Sometimes even innocent people get dragged into high-speed pursuits, like the passengers of this limo, the driver of which is on a suspended license and running from the cops. Reaching speeds in excess of 150 miles an hour, the strain was eventually too much for the luxury stretch vehicle, with the transmission giving out in a puff of smoke. Unable to continue driving forward, the petrified limo driver did what any normal person would do in this situation. Drive backwards? The reverse police chase went on for another few minutes before the driver misjudged the turn and backed into a tree. While most chases begin and end behind the wheel, one of these wanted armed robbers has a hidden skill up her sleeve. That will help her make a sneaky getaway. After hitting speeds of 95 miles an hour through residential streets, the duo's luck had seemingly run out. Unable to shake the cops, they ditched the car in a back alley and made a run for it. After scaling a fence and leaping from building to building, it's pretty clear she isn't just a petty crook. She's a parkour pro. Oh, that's, uh, that's not good for the roof. Unlucky for her, though, the eyes in the sky captured her every leap, resulting in the pair being cornered on the roof of a shed. At least they got one last romantic hug. Oh, there we go. What's the best getaway vehicle you can think of? A Bugatti? Lamborghini? Well, what about one that police are too terrified to follow? This criminal had the genius idea of stealing the world's most unfollowable ride, a fully loaded lumber truck. At first, the truck-stealing criminal was a local hero, even getting high fives from enthusiastic onlookers. That one guy, he just gave him a high five. Unbelievable. But things became heated when sparks from an exposed wheel rim caused the lumber to ignite, engulfing the rear of the truck in flames. With toxic smoke and a flaming cargo that frequently spilled onto the road, police had to wait for their moment. Thankfully, they got their chance, and a lucky shot from an officer would be the undoing of this car chase from hell. Look, look, you can see one running up to the cab there. It's, no, I think he's firing. This dude has played way too much Tony Hawk and not enough GTA. After crashing his car, this guy grabs the next best mode of transportation he can find, a longboard. The only problem is he isn't great at riding it. And in no time at all, cops and a good Samaritan have him cornered and cuffed. And while this good citizen may have helped bring one criminal to justice, sometimes you end up helping them escape.
when this stolen Ford Mustang ran out of gas on the freeway. The criminal behind the wheel thought his days were numbered. Pushing the car onto the off-ramp, he was joined by a friendly stranger who just wanted to lend a hand. Oh, is that sweet. Aiding and abetting. Maybe if he knew the cops were on the way, he wouldn't have been so generous. After a few minutes pushing uphill, the shirtless criminal decides he's had enough, running away and making a beeline for 7-Eleven instead. I wonder if he even said thank you. This guy's either the coolest criminal ever, or the police department needs some serious funding. After officers called off a pursuit due to excessive speed, this guy simply parked his car and walked away as though nothing ever happened. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we found the real-life Trevor Phillips. It's not every day police have to chase down a stolen forklift through suburban streets, especially one driven by a 12-year-old kid. For over an hour, this preteen badass led cops on a wild goose chase through Michigan. Legend has it, he's still driving. From someone who takes three attempts just to back into a parking space, I don't like my chances if I ever get on the wrong side of the law. If you think you'd stand a better chance, like and subscribe, and keep your hands where I can see them.